Hello to all of my Aquarius. Aquarius countdown to the official new moon in this first and this uh, this this new year, 2024. This is the year of wealth. Remember, we're going to have a large portion of this year. Over 150 days um, in this year is going to um, uh, planet Pluto is going to be retrograde. So there's going to be a lot of purging in order to make room. So if you're talking about making room. You know, some of that purging is going to feel uncomfortable, but some of it is going to be like, okay, that's all I needed so I can go ahead and move on, make room for X, Y, and Z. So let's get into your reading. So this is a countdown. This is a this is an extra video. Your regular videos will be going up, but this is an extra one. Let's get into it. I've already prayed over your cards, Aquarius. Keep your vibrations high. Keep your vibrations extremely high because if this is a year of wealth, you want to kick it off right. You want to kick it off right. You have enough people around you talking about just a negative talk about 2024 already. This isn't happening. I thought this was a year of wealth. Flush all of that out. <laughs> Flush all of it out because new moon, new you. We're going to have a new moon in Capricorn on 1-1-1, January the 11th. And so and some of the things that you can prepare for that is, um, you know, it can make you feel a little bit anxious. It can make you feel a little agitated and tired, which is really nature's way of syncing us with the rhythms of the moon and an act of self-care. And so don't forget that ritual of rest <laughs> get your rest. We're closing out a cycle and we're getting prepared. So we're only a couple of days away from this official new moon of this new year, right? So some of the things that you all can do, Aquarius, is do a cleansing bath. You all can reflect. You can write. You can ground yourselves. You can cleanse your space. You can also, um, um, you know, like really just set intentions. First card out of the deck is a nine of swords, right? Nightmare. Somebody have may have been having some nightmares about some things um, that you're leaving behind. And so as we get closer and closer to you closing out cycle, since the nine is the number of death rebirth, start looking at the rebirth side, like speaking it into existence. Here we have the queen of swords. Here we also have the seven of swords, right? This is really more telling of you when you feel like, okay, I feel like somebody is holding on to some secrets. Somebody's not telling me something. I feel like something is going to just sneak up on me like this kind of thing right here. See, this person is kind of like bent down and your ancestors are telling you what energies are talking about you talking about all kinds of stuff. And so you know exactly what types of energies they are. So source is saying, you know, cut out the thinking about it, right? Because, and look at it from a broader perspective. Look at it from a broader perspective, balance things out, right? Because this is about purpose as well. Um, what is the purpose that people are talking about you? What is the purpose of people saying things? What are the purpose of people trying to sneak up on you like oh, having those types of conversations right but your ancestors are keeping you apprised of everything here we have the magician card so messages are coming through they could be coming through your nightmares and your dreams and just being downloaded that way just through your thoughts but guess what it's not going to stop this it's harvest time so source is saying fight through those thoughts it's the new you coming new you this is your new year really your new year like officially your new year because we're coming out of that last quarter moon phase. So that's right. Fight through those thoughts. Fight through those thoughts. Think the rebirth side. The light side of the number nine is once you come through something that has ended, you're thinking, okay, my clairvoyance and my psychic abilities have now been increased. I knew I wasn't going crazy, right? I knew I, that wasn't heavy on my mind for a reason, right? So whatever, whatever thoughts you've been having about things, there's definitely some energies who are on the dark side of the number seven. And those are the energies that really wants um, something to end in a not the healthiest way. They want to be a nightmare. They want to stop. Okay, that's what it is right there. That's what it is, Aquarius. So like I said, it's countdown, 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 countdown. This is what they're trying to stop. Legacy. They're trying to stop legacy wealth, right? They're st trying to stop you from meeting your person, trying to stop you from building your legacy together, from your money growing, your reputation growing, the impact that you're making on uh, your community and the world at large. Here we also have the King of Pentacles, which is the wealthiest card in the deck. They want to cut your money. So if they can, if, if the enemy can use those types of energies in your mind, but really what it is, is... When you're thinking about this air energy right here, the element of air connects us with heart chakra, right? This right here, any pink, any green stone, right? Uh, pink tourmaline, the, the, the rose quartz, 
um, any pink or green stone, right, is love to be or love. Heart chakra connects us with the feelings of love and being loved, right? Um, love, trust, healing, gratitude, compassion, connection, forgiveness. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, so that's what you sitting on your throne, carefully vetting your thoughts saying, I'm not letting these nightmares into my thoughts to take over. I'm not letting these low vibrating thoughts into my mind take over as to what energies want to see cutting into your wealth, right? Here we have the Knight of Swords. If anything, I'm even more determined to change any negative thoughts into positive thinking, okay, Aquarius? Like I said, I'm going to keep this very, very short. I'm not pulling a number at the end. It's going to be hashtag 111 in preparation for January the 11th, the new moon in uh, Capricorn, right? Seven of Swords again. This is letting you know seven and seven is 14, one and four is five. A lot of energies from your past are having a hard time pivoting forward. They keep going back to the thinking about the same, it's obsessed, same energy over and over and over again, over and over and over again. That's why Source is saying to you, seven and seven is 14, one and four is five, minus one is four. Source is saying, get your rest. Get your rest, rest, and however rest looks like. Like I said, new you is the one of the most overlooked rituals is rest. Rest could look like you taking a walk. It can look like, okay, I'm shutting everything down and watching a movie for the next couple of hours. It can look like I'm calming myself down and listening to water sounds in the background. It can look like, you know, you're putting on some kind of meditation music before you lie down and go to sleep, getting yourself prepared, taking a salt bath, all of those things, because you're getting ready to get ready for this right here, financial independence, for real. Here we have the four of pentacles, and remember, you got 24 hours in a day, so to sit around and overthink it, remember, we're coming up on... 1 January the 11th, right? The number 11 is a master number. You're getting off the fence and you're stepping through that, that um, stepping, getting off the fence and stepping into the light of how you're circulating the wealth of time in, in, your, in every single moment of the day. How am I circulating time? Am I focusing on the nightmares to a point of exhaustion or am I, if am I circulating the wealth of time? Am I making good use of my time, right? Like I said, it's countdown. It's countdown, Aquarius. It is countdown. We are counting down to this new moon. We're counting down to this new moon. So while other people are talking about, oh, I thought by the end of the year, such and such would have been closed out. They didn't even realize they were still in the cycle. But you do. That's right. You do. You're already preparing right now. We're feeling the effects of it, right? A couple of days before. That's why I said a couple of days before. This uh, new moon, you're already feeling the effects of it. And a couple of days after, like three days in, three days out, you're still feeling the effects of it. And so I want to make sure you all um, are on point, on point. Here we have the Eight of Pentacles. Here we have the Hierophant card. Here we have the Five of Swords. Here we have the Three of Swords, the Eight of Cups, and also the Four of Cups. When there's some energies from the past that are deeply disappointed and heartbroken, and if, if for them... It's like they're in prison in their mind. They are fixated, Aquarius, on being heartbroken and deeply disappointed and telling everybody. They keep talking about, oh, Aquarius broke my heart. Aquarius deeply disappointed. I thought this and I thought that. I can't believe such and such and such and such. But they forgot about the other side of the sword. You know what I'm saying? They forgot about the other side of the sword is what did they do to you? What did they do to you? So more, the more and more people they run to and talk about how you hurt them, Aquarius, somehow they forget the part and how you hurt, how they hurt you. But again, you're beyond all of that. It's just coming up, Aquarius. And, and when I tell, when I talk about like family members, whoever loved ones are, right? Because I feel like it can be, it, it is somebody, you know, loved ones, whether you were, whether you dated them family members, whomever. There's definitely some energies who are just kind of sort of stuck on some kind of religious belief. And I'm not talking about doc, like biblical doctrine um, uh, per se. I'm talking about like religiously believing something. Like for instance, they've been told that <clears throat> um, whether wrong or right, you're supposed to honor their belief systems, whether it's wrong or right. You know what comes to mind when I think about this, um, Aquarius, would be um, um, 
Um, remember how, uh, for those of you all who, who, um, have read the Bible, since we're talking about like, uh, freeing yourself from stuff and just kind of like your belief systems and those kind of things and trying to get more structured and organized and just a little bit more stable and just your belief systems, your head and heart being at war with each other. Um, Like it, it would be like a person saying they are the head of the household in a sense. Doesn't matter if it's a man or woman that consider themselves as the head of the household and that you were supposed to you were supposed to follow their lead until you realized you didn't know what they were following, right? Um or like family members are saying like like people who try to put themselves above you because they have more education than you do, so they know more than you do, or um, you're supposed to conduct whatever, what, I mean, like I said, it's, it's for you, you know what your purpose is and somebody is definitely on this. You're on a, you're on a frequency of, um, pivoting and moving forward and they're stuck in the past. Right. And so here we have the eight of pentacles. And so source is saying you have at least eight streams of income in your Aquarius because you have at least eight gifts and talents that were passed down to you. But every time you sit around and you overthink how much you poured into energies that were playing games in the past and how they're trying to keep you mentally stuck because their energy wants you to come back. Is it like I said before, source is saying to you. You're cutting your gifts and talents in half. You're cutting your own joy in half. That's why rest is so, so, so very important, Aquarius, because energies are like, oh, we could we could have had a legacy together. Some of your exes, we could have had a family legacy together. We could have been doing this and we could have been doing that. All kinds of messages are coming through to you. So like I said before, some energies have caused you a nightmare in the past. And there is it's almost like, okay, uh, even some of your family members. Even some of your family members are saying you broke their heart. And I mean, but this is the thing. This is the thing. They keep talking trash. It's like they can't stop themselves from talking trash. And so it's two types of energies in particular. The ones that are sitting around listening to the trash talking and the ones that are starting to trash talking. So it's the same. They landed on the dark side of the number eight, which means this is the year of eight, the year of wealth. Because you got locked in and laser focused on your purpose here on this planet and you're seeing things from an expanded view of how you have all of these gifts and talents that can change people's lives for the better Aquarius, they're not looking at it like that. They're looking at it from at the root chakra being cracked. That's the lowest, that's just the lowest uh, level. At that level, something being cracked, like the family foundation is being cracked, something having to do with family, whether it is your blood relative family, or you had thought about marrying them or marrying into the family or some kind of family situation. Somebody's seeing it, something is being cracked. And like I said, the more and more you overthink it, the more and more you're, it'll drive you crazy. So sources like, don't even think about it. Don't even consider it. Move forward. You're moving forward to a new you. Here we have the Ten of Cups. Like I said, I do see somebody in a new relationship with energies that you feel like your inner child feels safe and protected. See, some people came from families where their inner child didn't even feel safe and protected. Even as an adult, you don't feel protected around your own family. And um, so source is saying like you, you don't feel like your thoughts and your creativity are protected. Like if you bring up something that other people believe something different, it's almost like people ganging up on you. Why do you want to believe that? Because it's, it's not this person's belief system. That's what I mean, like not feeling safe and protected, you know, and secure around your own family. So here's the magician card. So messages about two types of situations in particular are going to be coming down to you all. Like I said before, we had the four of pentacles and the four of pentacles. Um, it's eight. A lot of information is coming through about 10 types of it, two types of energies. And like I said before, the ones that sitting around talking trash and the ones that, um, the ones that sitting around talking trash and the ones that sitting around listening, entertaining those kind of conversations. Sources say as fast as you can stay away from them, the fast I'm going to speed up your wealth in terms of your love life, in terms of other things that you've been praying and asking source so for. So like, like I said, change your mindset, Aquarius, change your mindset, change your mindset, change, because as you're getting closer and closer to things happening for you, they're not focusing on your evolution. All they're focusing on is still gossiping and talking and still sitting there listening ears, big as satellite dishes, listening to any kind of salacious lies or whatever. You're not even interested. Move on. So yeah. 
There it is, King of Coins. Here we have the Empress card, the Four of Swords, the Fool card. Here we have the Four of Wands and also the Ten of Wands. As if they didn't know this, that you had already gone through this and you survived this already. Just a Judas spirit. But Source is saying moving forward for you, no more being a Judas in your own in your own life. So this right here, the full card, I'm doing a whole teaching going from all going through all of the tarot cards on the Patreon. This card right here is zero, right? This is me. I close out a cycle where I felt foolish, you know, in the past, and I'm embarking on this new journey, right? And so the magician card would be the first card. So I'm 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 tapping into inner resources, the knowledge that I learned from going through all this deep disappointment and heartbreak and all of this confusion and all I'm leaving all of that behind the trash talking energies and all of that. Not to say they don't they won't exist moving forward, but you'll be a you'll be able to better listen to because you're seeing things from a higher frequency. Does it does it am I gonna add that to my 24 hours in a day. No. So there's been a lot of growth in your creativity moving forward, right? So you're about to give birth to abundance and prosperity here. B abundance and prosperity. The King of Pentacles came out twice. So, um, yeah. Here we also have the Four of Swords and also the Four of Wands. Somebody's going to feel like a huge weight has been lifted off of their shoulder. Two situations in particular is going to feel like a huge weight has been lifted off of your shoulder. And you will finally be able to really, truly get some rest after coming out of situations where really, quite frankly, people were just playing games in the past. That's what it really was. It's like They like to play these manipulative mind games. But again, Source is bringing them to you in a message form, Aquarius. Download. This is the Magician card where you're tapped into those inner resources. So the messages that you're sending out is coming back to you. So if you had a dream or download about something, you're like, well, what was that source? Why did I have that kind of... Th so it says, okay, let me send the answer back to you because they're still talking. They don't even realize them. they're sending out vibrations into the universe and you're an air sign. So you're going to be the one that's going to catch it through the air. That's all air signs. So it, it doesn't click for certain... It doesn't click for some people because if they don't see it in a physical sense, then they don't believe it. So anyway, like I said... King of Coins came out twice, or King of Pentacles came out twice, your Ten of Pentacles came out. So like I said before, like I said, you and even if it's just you by yourself or you and somebody else, because I'm looking at uh, the Ten of Cups here. So, I mean, this is going to be an extremely prosperous year, an extremely prosperous year. So people, I mean, I, I can't tell whoever your past or whoever you're leaving behind. I can't. It, it, even if they're cross watching, you can't tell, you can't make a person stop talking about their, their memory of something, but you can say, what was I supposed to learn from that? And how can I use that to help people moving forward without even mentioning their name, without even mentioning this, like, how can I help people? So you're looking at it on a grander scale, Aquarius, as, um, yeah, they may have had that situ situations may have happened to me, but I, how can I use that to help other people, including them without them even knowing it? So that's what I have for you all, Aquarius. And I will see you all on the next countdown video before we get to this new moon in Capricorn on January the 11th. So happy new moon. It's already it's already celebrated. Happy new year. Happy new moon. Happy new you. All right. Bye.